This is a collaboration series with Aspen Tech. For more information, stay tuned until the end of this video. Now, I'm pretty sure that you have heard something around hydrogen, hydrogen technologies, hydrogen economy, hydrogen used as a fuel, maybe even some technical terms such as hydrogen cells, or maybe even about the colors, green hydrogen, blue hydrogen, gray hydrogen, or so. Or perhaps you already know the fundamentals of hydrogen fuels and why they are important in the industry. Make no worries, this video series is for everyone, especially for those young students, professionals that want to learn more about the hydrogen economy. And the main question arises, why is it so important for the process engineer to know about hydrogen economy? The hydrogen economy is an idea or a proposal to make hydrogen the carrier for our main fuels. Pretty similar to how fossil fuels and electricity are being used today. After all, hydrogen is nothing more than another option as a fuel. One of the great advantages is that after burning, it will simply release water vapor. And one of the most important takes on the hydrogen economy is that we can make a transition towards the entire use of hydrogen fuels. We can talk about hydrogen being produced via green alternatives, green energies such as wind, solar power, or more importantly, how right now we are using fossil fuels to produce a more environmentally friendly hydrogen fuel. All this with the help of carbon capture, carbon sequestration, and carbon storage technologies which is technically speaking, blue hydrogen. If you want to learn more about the hydrogen color codes, I have prepared a video for you guys, so you can check it out there. But for now, the main idea is to produce hydrogen as a fuel using the most environmental friendly options available. And not only that guys, we know that as process engineers, it's very important to adapt to the new trends. And as stated guys, the main appeal of the hydrogen economy lies in the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and of course, mitigate climate change. This is one of the main top concerns for chemical and process engineers all around the world. And what we're going to be covering in this video is not that much towards the technology, all that we're going to be covering in the next video, but mostly on why is it important for you as a process or chemical engineer to know these type of trends. Because although you may not be working directly in the hydrogen economy, a lot of industries are going to be directly and indirectly affected by this new shift in industries. So now that we know why is it so important, let's stick to the main points. Point number one is one of the most obvious ones and is to reduce the carbon footprint. I'm pretty sure that you have seen that there is a strong push towards the decrease on carbon dioxide and other emissions worldwide. Either governments, industries or companies are pushing all together to decrease this in order to mitigate the climate change. I'm pretty sure that you have heard that certain type of companies are going green by 2040, or maybe that certain type of governments have banned gasoline vehicles by 2050, and many other type of guidelines that are relevant for this. And one of the best ways to do this is for sure using hydrogen economy, because it offers clean energy solution with zero greenhouse gas emissions, and more importantly, to obtain this via renewable resources. And the engineer will for sure play a vital role in this transition. I'm talking about the hydrogen production, hydrogen storage, utilization, distribution, and more. Now, point number two is that hydrogen is very versatile for any kind of industry, hence its potential to make the transition from fossil fuels to hydrogen fuel. It's very important to remark, guys, that in the past, hydrogen faced significant challenges as a viable fuel option. Its production was complex or maybe it was costly, but not only that guys, hydrogen fuel has a very small amount of energy density, meaning that this is one of the top challenges to, to improve the storage of hydrogen fuels. Thankfully guys, by now there's a lot of technologies that are rapidly increasing and improving the hydrogen storage distribution technologies. And not only that guys, hydrogen fuel is being adapted to a lot of industries. Let it be petroleum refining, bulk chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and more. And the main idea is that the engineer will have a lot to do with this. Meaning that there will be a lot of research, a lot of design, a lot of operation, experimentation, implementation, and all this to make the final transition from fossil fuels to hydrogen fuels. Point number three is related towards energy storage, but more importantly, making a proper grid balance. I'm pretty sure that you have heard that renewables have this disadvantage of being intermittent. 
for instance. Solar energy can only work whenever there's a sun, let it be daylight, or wind energy will only work when there's wind out there, making this type of technologies quite unreliable whenever there's no source. Make no worries because hydrogen fuel may be one of the best options to tackle this problem. As stated guys, hydrogen may serve as a valuable energy carrier to store excess renewable energy, helping to balance the intermittency of renewable sources. A quick example will be using an electrolyzer to convert solar energy or wind energy, and then we will have the hydrogen fuel, which can later be used at night or whenever there's no wind. And guys, this is just going to get better as hydrogen storage technologies keep improving. Number four is the decarbonization of transportation and we already talked about the carbon footprint, but really transportation is one of the top producers of carbon emissions. And I really want to pay extra attention in the electrical vehicle industry, which has been making a significant push towards the use of hydrogen fuel in their cell vehicles. I'm using this example because I'm pretty sure that you are quite familiar on how the electrical vehicles are having this problem on where to charge, how long to charge, how expensive is charging, and more importantly, where does the energy for these batteries come from. And now point number five will be hydrogen economy can address the energy concerns all around the world. Now guys, I'm pretty sure that you have seen the importance on the reliability of energy sources. For instance, we have witnessed how geopolitics and energy distribution have been shaping our constant evolving world. A good example will be the russian ukrainian war, which has been affecting the way in which Europeans get their natural gas, a fossil fuel. This wouldn't be the case if they will have a varied portfolio. This made us understand the importance of energy security and energy reliability. Moreover, understanding that having a very diversified portfolio of energy sources will be beneficial in the long run for any independent country. Not only that, it will help that specific country to make a quicker transition from fossil fuel to greener, sustainable energies. So hopefully by 2040, we'll see a shift of energy transition from this all the way to this. And there you go, guys, why the hydrogen economy is a very relevant factor for process engineers. And not only that, generally speaking, for any chemical industry. The hydrogen economy is here to stay for sure, but definitely there are a lot of challenges to be solved. Now, of course, this is a very big task for government and industry. However, the true hero in this endeavor is the process engineer, which is going to be in charge of researching, innovating, planning, designing, implementing, transitioning, operating, designing, and modeling all these type of new technologies. Hence, the importance of the process engineer in the hydrogen economy. I really hope that you took some value out of this video because more are coming soon. Ensure to stay tuned guys, click on the notification bell so you get the next video right away because we're going to be talking about hydrogen technologies. How do we get green hydrogen, either solar energy, maybe we're talking about wind power, or maybe we are going to be shifting towards electrolyzers, why do we need them, and how can we make these type of transitions or adaptations on our industry. Later on, we're going to be covering other type of tools, the electrolysis model, for instance, and how can we take the most advantage of this software. On my behalf, guys, that will be it. I'll see you in the next video.